Yo, what is up, loud and proud crowd? Hopefully, you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So, we are in the shop here right now with the Limited. It's so filthy. It needs washed. It really does, but it's just been too hard because we've been gone so much. And then when we get back, we're busy doing other stuff. And then Reagan's got to try to keep her trucks clean. I got to keep my trucks clean. It's just a lot going on. I'm not complaining. It's a good problem to have. But let's get off that topic because that's not why we're here today. So, we've got some new parts for the third gen Cummins. Yes, if you haven't heard, we got new wheels, we got new tires, we got a stage five built transmission done by the guys over at Maximum Overdrive Transmission in Red Key, Indiana. We need some power to go to that transmission, so we are going to be getting the limited pulled out, pulling in the third gen, and working on that truck today. Can I promise you that the kit's gonna get installed today? No, I cannot, but I can promise you that I'm gonna try my hardest to get everything ripped out from underneath the hood to be able to get the kit installed. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, uh, hopefully it goes smooth, and we don't have too many complications. You know how that goes every time I say that complications take place one more thing I wanted to stress to you guys is that you can now receive two times the entries to win that third gen every five dollars equals two entries to win and the giveaway ends in 11 days do not procrastinate link is in the description or go to lnpgear.com and every five dollars is two entries to win Well, we got the truck all situated here in the shop, and I'm probably gonna leave the door open for now just to keep a little bit of airflow in here. Let's first go to the back of the truck. I'm gonna open the tailgate and pull out all the parts and show you exactly what we got to go under the hood of this thing. First thing I'm gonna go over is just the fact that it's a Whirly Custom Fab kit. Now, Whirly Custom Fab is not sponsoring this video. I actually didn't even reach out to them to ask if they would sponsor the video. I was just in a time crunch and I'm like, I don't really have you know a few days to go back and forth on the fine details of the sponsorship for this. So I'm like, I'm just gonna order the parts in, get them going, and uh, see what we can do. However, they did sponsor some stuff on the Duramax that we did, the LMM that we did a little while back now. Um, however, with this one, they're not necessarily sponsoring. I just chose their kit because I liked the way it came and I thought it looked like a really complete kit, especially for the money because when you are spending that kind of money, there's a lot of options out there. However, there's not quite as many options that are like very, very well put together that are, you know, the most simple to use. I and mean, I think this is gonna be a pretty simple one to put together. So we've got all the powder coated piping and all that stuff and the colors that I went with, if you can see that flat black look, I like that, not to mention it goes with the fender flares perfectly. It goes with the headlight housings and the wheels and the grill. And I just kind of thought like it was a good combination for the truck, not to mention, let me pop the hood for you guys. It's flat black, just like the SMB intake. And no, that's not necessarily the most important thing in the world to have it all the exact same thing. But I thought, you know what, what the heck, I'm just going to go with that. It's simple, it complements everything else about the truck. I wasn't gonna do a bunch of like flat black, you know, things like the inside of this housing, the fender flares um, and stuff like that. And then, you know, get like a crazy color under the hood. I just kind of wanted to keep it all tied together. I, I feel like it's kind of a cool look. I mean, it's simple, but I think it's gonna be clean. What we're gonna be working on here is not necessarily going through every part on that kit yet. Not today, but I did want to let you know what we went with. In terms of a turbo though, we did go with an S463. All that aside guys, let's get to dismantling anything that is gonna be in the way under the hood and get prepared for the install. Remember, $5, two entries to get the truck put in your driveway. Cause I know I'm the show. In the zone, here I go. In the zone, here I go. In the zone, here I go. Yeah, they know I'm a pro. Yeah. 
hour later, let's check out the progress. So of course I got the air box out, all the funky tubing that goes down to it, which is super constricting. And then I got all the manifold bolts out except for one, and that is right there in the middle. Why did I not take that one out? You might be asking. Well, I need to go buy a wrench to be able to take the fitting off of the, well, the one off the turbo, um, so that probably the one off there too. Actually, I'll probably just take the one off here and then just take the whole hose out because I believe I have new ones. Worst case scenario, I have to use it again. I can still do that, but I need to get that disconnected so I can pull that all out. I do have the V-band taken off down at the downpipe. I have all the manifold bolts out. I have the drainage for the oil, the drain line unhooked. I have the wiring to the turbo to check some kind of sensor crap. I have the unhooked. I also have the boost pipe going to the turbo. That is unhooked as well. So pretty much everything's good to go, and all I need to do is disconnect that one last bolt. I need to unhook that piece there that monitors the exhaust temperature. Other than that, I should be, we should be solid. We should be good to go. And then that should just kind of rock and come out. Now, is it going to be heavy? Yes, extremely heavy. I don't know how smooth this is gonna be getting it all out in one piece. It might be like a lot harder than I'm thinking, but if we can just get that all out, then that'll just be done. And then we're, we should be good to go. I can't remember if I went with an ATS or a steed speed manifold. Speed speed, got it, yep, it is speed speed. Okay, well, I did go with the speed speed apparently and all this all this stuff. So I got all this stuff ready to go. What I need to do right now though is I need to run over to Menards which conveniently all this stuff is right next to our house now. I'm gonna run over to Menards in the Limited, grab something there which is just a small pack of wrenches so I can finish this uninstall of all these factory parts and then get stuff starting to go back in the truck. Now in terms of what came out of here. Here is the air filter. Oh my gosh, that thing is, that thing is nasty. I mean, it is so nasty. I'm so glad I'm getting rid of this crap. Uh, so I got that out. Little heat shield for the manifold. Some little retainers that were on some studs that were going into the manifold. Then just this whole contraption of not good airflow. That's, that's what that is. That's a mess of horrible airflow. Is there anybody else out there that just freaking loves Arizona sweet tea? Like I did not even know it was really that good until I started dating Reagan and she's like, you don't drink sweet tea? I'm like, no, not really. She's like, it is the best. So now I drink sweet tea. I went to the store and I grabbed some wrenches. I need a 17 and a 12 and I figured I might as well get some more while I'm at it. I already have a bunch here, but I need, you, you can't have enough tools. Like when you get to a point where you're doing Stuff like this. I think the last things that I have to do, like I said, is the fitting off of there. Go into the oil filter. That right there. Pop that bolt out and we should be able to pull it all up out of there. We'll see. I'm not going to get my hopes up yet, but I think it should be just as easy as that. We'll find out. Let's go, let's go! Those things, uh, they're a little heavier than they look. Man, I think we got everything out, but that was a lot harder than I honestly thought it was gonna be. Well, take it back. It wasn't hard to do any of it. That part I meant, like the last thing I pulled up was a little bit heavier than I thought it'd be. Other than that, it really, it really was not that difficult. Including the run I had to make two Menards to grab some wrenches that I was missing. The entire teardown of all that stuff only took me probably two hours. And that's because I had to run the store and back, which took me half hour. But it was an hour and a half probably total if you have everything right at your fingertips. Not that bad to take it all apart. Another reason why I love these 5.9 engines, well, just the common stuff in general, way easier to work on. In terms of the turbo that we took off in the manifold, here it is. I left the little flange that was connected to the turbo just on it because, well, I didn't see the point in trying to hassle and taking off another band. When I could just pull the whole thing out at once, I didn't see any point in taking off those studs either for that because, well, I got a new manifold, I got a new turbo, I got new studs, so I don't really need it. I might still need this fitting, so I'm gonna have to try to heat that up and get that out. But other than that, pretty much all of this, we are going to disregard. And even like the uh, oil feed lines and stuff, I actually had to cut one, and I don't recommend <laughs> doing that, but I had to cut that because even though I went and got new wrenches, I could not get any wrench to actually stay on there. It kept slipping off, so I had to cut the feed line right at the, where did I put it? 
I don't even remember where I put it. Oh, it's in that bucket that's underneath the truck catching some of the coolant stuff that came out. But anyway, so the little fitting that was into the oil filter itself, I just put a 21 millimeter on it and then just loosened it right off and uh, it came off that way. So um, that worked out. It was, no, take it back. It wasn't a 21. What was it? It was a, I think it was a 7 8 Put a 7 8 over that fitting, undid it, popped it out, and then uh, the new one will go in a lot smoother since it's not uh, been on a truck for, you know, 10 years, 10, 12 years. With all that aside, I'm just going to take the engine bay, clean it up a little bit where this new stuff is going to go in there just so it's more presentable. One of you who wins this truck gets something that's a little bit cleaner under the hood than when I found it. Other than that, though, in terms of what we're using, like I said, it's a Steed Speed Manifold, Borg Warner S463, Whirly Custom Fab, Shorty Downpipe, and this is going to go to basically, you know, where that new, um, where the old turbo was. It's going to go right up to the back of that new turbo, and that's just a lot easier to do than an entirely new downpipe. That's just my preference. That's why I went with their kit. That was one of the big factors. I'm like, that downpipe is way better than having to try to cut your old one and put it in just like it's a, you know, factory second gen downpipe style and piece it together or a second gen style kit to make it all the way like that by cutting your you know exhaust down lower to piece it together down by the transmission i just was like i don't really want to mess with that i just want to use the setup that's there and then just piece it together like so using a shorty down pipe from a you know world custom fab and so that's what i'm going to do saving a lot of time this charge pipe still needs to come out because we're going to be replacing it with the world custom fab charge pipe and then it does also include new bands, boots, I mean, your air filter. It's got a big air filter that you're gonna put on it, a bunch of stuff, so anyways, all that stuff's there. I did also get a turbo blanket as an option. You don't have to get that, but I figured whoever you know takes this truck home might like having one of those. I think we're pretty much good to go. I gotta go, I gotta run. I have a meeting with my dad regarding some new investment stuff we're talking about, because we're gonna be doing some real estate investing stuff here soon. So we gotta talk to a CPA and figure out tax stuff and you know investing strategies and all that kind of stuff to how to go about that. Actually these last like several days, it's been a lot more like draining for me to do what I do. Not because it's hard to do, but because I've done the same thing for now so long that I was just like, man, like I'm like, it's just, it's getting tiring doing the same thing over and over and over again. You know what I mean? Which is like what most people do every day, you know? And, but I, I just don't like that. I'm just not the type of person. I don't like doing the same thing all the time. I'm like, I need to change something. And I used to get up and go for runs for several months way back before Reagan and I started dating. My days were just longer, they were better. I got more time to do what I wanted to do at the end of the day, you know, in terms of hunting stuff and outdoor stuff. I just loved that kind of stuff, so I had more time. You know, I had more time to just hang out and have downtime and stuff like that. And that's kind of a routine that I kind of basically put away, you know, for quite some time. But this morning I started, I got back on it, so I'm getting up running when it's still dark out and nobody else is up yet. Start off my morning with brainstorming and thinking and all that stuff. And when you do that and you feel like you're up, you know, before everybody else, you're up getting active before everybody else, you just, you feel like you have control over your time in your life. It gives you more energy, it makes you happier, it keeps you more optimistic, more creativity. At least for me, that's all stuff that I feel when I get up and I'm more productive like first thing in the morning. And like it's noon now and I've already got tons of stuff done. So anyways, guys, take that into mind if that's something maybe some other people struggle with. But anyways, thank you so much. Join the team, join the family. Do not forget to enter to win this truck. Every $5 gets you two entries to win. You are down to the last 11 days. I will catch you in the next video. Peace.